our collab this year, we traveled to Paris, France to explore the culture and visit important landmarks. We learned a lot about all different topics like art, food, history, and even the French language in general, especially the importance of saying bonjour. For our symposium project, we will be discussing the famous art pieces we had the chance to see. While in Paris, we visited multiple art museums. Each one focused on a different style or era of art. The collections we saw ranged from Renaissance all the way to post-impressionism. For this video, I'll explain a few of the most important or influential works organized by the movement they were a part of. For each masterpiece, I will also provide some background on the era it was created in, the creator, and where it can be found today. To avoid taking up too much of your time, today we will only be discussing one painting from each of the three most popular eras or movements seen in Paris's museums. Naturally, up first is the Mona Lisa. This masterpiece can be found in La Louvre. The beloved painting was created by Leonardo da Vinci in 1503, making the painting 519 years old as of 2022. Because of the age of the painting, it must be preserved with great care to avoid damage, especially as one of the most famous paintings in the world. Luckily, the glass in front of the painting is multi-purposeful, protecting Mona from not only large amounts of oxygen that could cause aging, but also cake. This painting is part of the Renaissance era. Renaissance art is characterized by a few things. One, it was made between the 1400s and 1600s. Two, it is themed around humanism, and three, the humans in it have idealized figures painted in neutral, dark colors. So, who was Leonardo da Vinci? Alive from 1452 to 1519, he was a multi-talented man who was involved in painting, engineering, and scientific studies. He is responsible for other painting masterpieces like The Last Supper and The Virgin and Child with Saint Anne. Next, a painting from the Impressionism era. The Pfeiffer by Edward Manet was created in 1866 in oil paint. The era of Impressionism was a completely new, more relaxed form of painting. Impressionist art was not perfect, nor was it designed to be. The brushstrokes were very visible, the colors not traditional, and it was designed to be more easygoing than traditional works. Impressionism as a movement and style was not taken seriously at first. The focus of the movement was to paint their surroundings, the world they lived in, and embrace day-to-day -day life of the artists. However, critics found the art to be lazy, compared to the older style, because of its lightheartedness. The Pfeiffer can be found today in the Musée Orsay. It was created by Edward Manet, an Impressionist alive from 1832 to 1883. He lived in Paris and was known for both his paintings and printmaking. And finally, a painting from the post-Impressionism era. The painting we will be focusing on for this era is Vincent van Gogh's self-portrait. It was painted in September of 1889 and mailed to his brother. Today it can be found in the Musée Orsay. The artist, van Gogh, 1853-1890, wasn't recognized for his work until a while after his death. He led a difficult life and struggled with money because as an artist he had only sold one painting in his lifetime. The era he was a huge part of, post-impressionism, was a protest of the Impressionist movement. Post-Impressionism took back the idea of more structured works, so much so that it later evolved into Cubism. This era took place from 1886 to 1905. Overall, all three eras were important to art history. Thank you for watching this short explanation and I hope you learned something about these works, their artists, and their influences along the way.